five Henry County police officers, once again, state of Georgia. They have been indicted for murder by the district attorney. The district attorney is a young black male named Darius Patillo, who does not seek media attention at all. He simply fairly applies the law and he keeps it moving. Well, they turned themselves in. Let's show a mugshot of the officers. The mugshots we were able to get. There they are. Five police officers from Henry County who were indicted on murder charges related to the 2019 death of a 24 year old man in police custody. Each turned themselves in on Monday. All five were later released on a $100,000 bond. Let's show a picture of the kid they killed, okay? Now I want to remind you of what happened. This is graphic. Here's the video. Gangbridge. Hey, get on the ground, dude. Look, man, get on the ground. Get on the ground, man. Go ahead and hit him. Oh. Give it to him again. Roll over. 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 Roll over, dude. Roll over. You're going to do it again. Oh. Roll over. Roll over. Moby, go ahead and start this way, bro. Uh, dude, roll over. Roll over. Let me get you some help, okay? Get on your stomach. Get on. Uh, roll over, dude. Come on. Roll over. Whatever it is you're on, it ain't worth all this. Roll over, okay? Roll over on your stomach. Oh. You ain't got to get connected. No. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over on your side. They killed Fernando Rodriguez, 24 years of age. He was naked. He was in the middle of a crisis. Those cops have all been charged with murder. After the indictments were handed down by a grand jury on Friday evening, arrest warrants were issued ordering the five men to turn themselves in. By 5 p.m. Tuesday, they complied a day ahead of schedule and were each released by Tuesday afternoon. Henry Sheriff's Office spokes, uh, spokeswoman uh, Ms. Satonia Moore said in an email, the five officers, let's put their pictures up again. Let's put their pictures up. Robert, Robert Batera, Quentin Phillips, they work for the Henry County Police Department. And then Hampton Police Officers, Mason Lewis, Marcus Stroud, and Gregory Bolden. Uh, the, the men are facing charges related to the death uh, of Mr. Rodriguez. And you will see more about this story because a settlement on the civil side has already been reached with one police department. The family is looking to reach a wrongful death settlement with another. Uh, once again, tragedy. There's nothing that can bring this young man back, but the wheels of justice moving in the right direction. Now, when you look at these officers' personal records for their professional conduct, you know what we don't see? We don't see their professional record. You know why? Because it's not mandated. Under the George Floyd Policing and Accountability Act, we will be able to see their history. See, this doesn't make sense to me. They can see my history, they can see your history, but we can't see theirs. And they work for us, and we're the ones that pay them. They don't pay us. This doesn't make sense to me. Ben, thoughts? Yeah, I mean, there's only one way for me to describe what I saw in that video, and that was torture. Yeah. I mean, every single time that taser went off, that was a choice. That was an explicit choice that those police officers made. And I think we all know why they made it, right? Like, I get it, right? It's uncomfortable if there's 
somebody that's naked in the streets and you're the police officer that's responsible for handling the situation. It can get complicated and difficult, but this is where with police officers, their impatience and their laziness is deadly, right? Mm -hmm. For civilians, the impatience and laziness of police officers is deadly. And the just gratuitous disregard for human life. I mean, seriously, I don't know how they could be in that situation and just continue to fire their tasers. And that's why typically in professions, you have a higher standard of accountability. For example, a medical doctor has a higher standard of care than somebody who is not a medical doctor. There are things that medical doctor will do that will get them in criminal trouble because of their higher level of accountability or standard. And it seems to work exactly the opposite for many, many police officers.